going on there, folks? Good evening. Earthmaster here checking in on the Earthquake Live 3D stream on the Earthquake channel. It is July 7th already. Holy smokes. 2021's a date. 7-7 seven, seven there. A couple of sevens. 8.09 p.m. West Coast time here in, unfortunately, California. One of these days, one of these days coming up pretty soon, folks, I'm going to be saying... Um, I'm, my new home base is going to be a different location. I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up with California. It sucks. It sucks here. Um, anyway, the latest quake on the globe. Enough complaining, right? 4.2. A very deep earthquake out here around the Fiji Islands area. Check out the depth of that quake up there in the upper right-hand corner. 571 kilometers below the surface. We have been seeing a tremendous amount of deep earthquake movement in the Fiji Islands area. Of course, this is always where it takes place before we see some major adjustment um, on the surface. Let's go ahead and check out the latest flat scale earth model for you flat earthers out there. You can see the 4.5 striking out there in the Fiji Islands area in the red circle, uh, or 4.2 I should say. Prior to that, there was a 5.2 or a 4.5 and a 5.7. These are not aftershocks, but adjustment way down below the lithosphere area. Some, I mean, look at that. We got three of these well below 500 kilometers. And you can't tell me there ain't some minor or minor major adjustment going on well below the Pacific plate. We have seen a tremendous amount of increase from the west, or I should say from the east headed towards the west. Pacific plate into the Philippine plate into um, areas to the west of there the Eurasian plate okay over here west of here a tremendous amount of earthquake activity taking place to the west um, of the Philippine plate uh, including a 5.3 in India a couple other minor quakes throughout uh, Tajikistan and uh, China area but that uh, movement kind of progressing along these plate boundaries here. A couple subduction zones along here as well that are very capable of producing some uh, significant quakes. 4.3 over in the Greece area. Uh, nothing major around there, around Athens. Let's go ahead and check out the latest in the North American plate. Alaska looking pretty active for their subduction zone up here, the, uh, the uh, Pacific plate and the North American plate conjunction. That's typical, very typical of earthquake activity in that subduction zone. The west coast area, Southern California, um, if I were to look at this map, I would say, okay, <laughs> okay is the word. It's just your typical average earthquake, um, daily earthquake activity in Southern Cal along your secondary, secondary fault system such as the San Jacinto Fault, which is a major player a secondary to the San Andreas Fault and the Ellis North Fault. Um, should I say third? Secondary to the um, San Jacinto Fault area. Um, other than that, I don't see any major earthquake activity or any kind of heightened earthquake activity at that for the moment. Um, there is some movement along the creeping section of San Andreas Fault, but that's good. There's a reason why they call that the creeping section. We're always seeing twos and threes, sometimes fours on there at any given month, any given year. Okay, we don't really see a whole lot of significant uh, swarming activity on this section of the San Andreas Fault, but uh, it's good to see some movement at that. Northern Cal, pretty quiet folks. Pacific Northwest, pretty quiet folks. There's not a whole lot of movement going on into the Pacific Northwest area. Yellowstone National Park, just a couple of microquakes around the region. We got to go to the overview of these folks of this beautiful website, which I've been using for so many years. Um, shout out to these guys. I made uh, quite a bit of uh, contributions to these folks over the years because of their hard work. Is this thing on dot org slash Yellowstone slash Daythumbs dot PHP is the site to view the overview of Yellowstone National Park, the caldera, Yellowstone super volcano, right? It's a super volcano. It's going to blow one of these days and then we're going to wish we weren't here, um, is outlined in black. It's not a lake. That is not a lake line. That's a uh, caldera line. 
So what are we looking at? As far as seismic, seismic activity goes, a few small earthquakes. We're seeing this little cluster of quakes and it seems, it almost seems folks daily that this is happening. Daily. It's roughly around 0, 03, 0, 0400 time. And that's, what time is that? Pacific time. That's gonna be, do, uh, do, do. I, I, I can't really figure it out. 0, 03. So it's 0, 03 right now UTC time. Um, 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 I'm not for sure. Okay, either way, you got to go back a few hours. We're looking at about uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 hours, 12 hours ago for this earthquake activity to take place. It seems as though this activity has been ongoing for four or five days where we see this seismic increase in earthquake activity over this roughly same time period. We can go back to uh, the 4th and we can see a similar... Well, let's see. Right there, right there. I can see it. Right about there. A similar period, I guess, if you will, of seismic activity. See it right there again in this region. So I, I believe it's I believe it's legit. I don't think it's interference at all. Um, it's just kind of it's kind of odd. I can't really explain it, but it's definitely earthquake activity because it's showing up on other seismograph stations uh, that are independent of each other uh, and localized here in the region. As far as any significant swarming, any type of magma movement, any type of, well, sign of a, a impending major eruption at Yellowstone, not happening. There's nothing. Tremor map. What's going on in the Pacific Northwest and the Cascadia subduction zone? A lot of people want to know what's going on in the Cascadia. Well, we can only tell you folks what is happening. I don't make stuff up. I'm not going to make stuff up and I'm not going to fear monger on here. Uh, just a small period of epicenters. This is Tremor in uh, around the Seattle area in Northern California. This is the Cascadia subduction zone that monitors Tremor activity in the slippage area of the Juan de Fuca plate, which subducts underneath this beautiful North American plate right here. And it's looking pretty minor, folks. That is my story, and I'm sticking to it. There's not a whole lot of movement uh, to worry about at the moment. But then again, you know, who's to say all this quiet activity doesn't ramp up a mega quake off the coast of Oregon tomorrow? You never know. We don't know. 1700 years 1700 was a long time ago when the last mega quake struck out here along the cascadia we don't know the signs and the telltale stories of what takes place along this area prior to a mega quake uh, but but you can bet i'll be monitoring this uh, and i have been monitoring this for quite a long time uh, the activity in the pacific northwest so uh, we'll see we'll see what happens I think, um, and I kind of talked about this last night, the weakening or the lessening of earthquake activity along the North American plate due to the deep movement over here around Japan and areas to the south. And now we're looking at forward pressure through the Philippine plate, Eurasian plate over here to the west, which is ultimately relieving temporarily activity along the west coast but i don't think we're over folks it's, it's all a cycle it's a cycle of movement along these plate tectonic uh, uh plates here texas and eh, what's going on out there in beautiful texas Can, uh, i think texas is calling my name hey this is earthmaster checking in from texas here in the uh central time of uh 10 18 right maybe one of these days pretty soon i think um guadalupe peak picos texas area seen a few earthquakes out there uh what is it toya texas roughly about six seven kilometers for these earthquakes we've been watching this area for quite some time it's just been uh been happening for quite a while last time i took a trip out there to texas i was on a plane uh flying out to uh, austin area 
I talked to a gentleman who worked for the oil fields and the pumping operations out here. Talked about a tremendous amount of earthquake uh, or uh, not earthquake activity, but pumping operations north of the Pecos, Texas area uh, and how they can contribute to earthquake activity. So who knows? Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of investigating and studying to do when it comes to fracking and uh, injection wells and whatnot. Uh, but, but, but man, I'm 99% certain that they cause earthquakes. There's no doubt. 99%. If they don't, then that means there's less pressure out there on the region. Uh, what do we got here as far as anything else? Puerto Rico looking pretty quiet, folks, for the all magnitudes. Look at that. Only three earthquakes to report of. 3.9, 3.5, and a 2.1. And these right here, right along the Puerto Rico trench area. That's the thing. Do we look at the quiet activity as a good thing? Or do we look at the quiet activity as a bad thing? In a highly seismic activity in a subduction zone. And I'm talking the Puerto Rico trench and the Cascadia. Is this a good sign or a bad sign? I, you know, who knows? Who really knows? South America, what's going on there? In the Chile area, beautiful area, Bolivia. Uh, 4.101 kilometers and 118 kilometers for that 4.7 into the Peru Chile trench. Stay on guard, folks. Be on guard. Uh, a lot of movement to the west, as I said, from the Philippine plate moving westward. Um, I expect things to pick up and ramp up pretty quickly. We'll see uh, what happens over the next 24 uh what what else do we got i think that's about all it folks um i hope everyone has a good night i just and i have to say it here on this update um i've been giving away some decals earth master channel decals okay i have a bunch to give away they're pretty awesome decals they're vinyl weatherproof decals that you could slap on your car they're not going to fade they're not going to bubble they're not going going to tear if you want some um, decals of the earth master channel here on youtube they're pretty cool they're about four by five um somewhere around there not too big not too small you can slap them on your computer your laptop your bumper your window wherever you want i'm giving them away for free doesn't matter in internationally i sent out a bunch today i sent out a bunch yesterday um, and i got a bunch more to give away for free you, all you got to do is email me at earthmastermail at gmail.com. That's it. Send me your address, your mailing address, and I'll get them off in the mail to you first thing in the morning. Earthmastermail at gmail.com. All right, guys. Have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. Um, and as always, we'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.